Hi, it's Andrea. Um, I'm just back for a run, so you'll have to excuse me. I'm a little bit sweaty betty still. Um, I was doing a lot of thinking on my run and so many things came to me that I just wanted to record them while I can still remember them. Although now I'm starting to wonder if I'm actually going to be able to recall them. Um, there's been a huge amount of energy shifting around and pulling at people in the last few days and the overall theme that I'm sensing um, or the issues that are arising for a lot of us are around trust and insecurities and I was just thinking about those on my run. Um, took the earphones out and just let myself feel the world and my my thoughts which is sometimes the most beautiful way to run you realize that when you left the house feeling heavy and tired and lethargic and questioning should you have been out running at all that as you start to get into your rhythm and flow and just just run because you love it the energy the energy follows and you know that you're running for the right reason um i'm definitely not a believer of of pushing your body when it's when it doesn't want to. For example, I took yesterday off. I needed it. Today I needed to get out and I had to really dig in and, and honor that. Um, but a lot of us um, have disconnected from our ability to trust our inner wisdom and our ability to make decisions for ourselves. Even, you know, on the theme of running, we, we all have technology telling us how we feel how our hearts feel, um, our pace, our cadence, even how much we bounce along and, and, and wattage can even be measured now. And it's overriding our inherent ability to connect within ourselves. Um, there's a wisdom within the body that is far greater than any technology will ever know. And we know so much, but we still know so little. So it's very important that we continue to go back to ourselves, our inner selves, how are we feeling and use the technology as, as signposts, indicators, um, little bits of guidelines, but above all, trust trust in yourself because you'll, you'll be starting to fight with yourself between what the technology is telling you and what you're actually feeling and sensing. Um, and I think this applies to all of our lives. We're, we're waiting for people to give us permission. We're waiting for technology to give us permission. We're failing to spend a moment to look within, to answer the questions. We're immediately looking outward and I, cre I think it's creating a lot of conflict within ourselves. We're no longer actually trusting in ourselves because we're losing that ability to be able to feel our way through situations. And with the absolutely overwhelming ab ab abundance of knowledge or is it opinion that's out there where we're failing to tap in and as a therapist I've seen that my the greatest breakthroughs that have been with anyone have been when I've trusted myself I will always study and I will study a, a phenomenal amount to learn and educate myself and it gives me a way to connect but Above, above this, I, I trust my intuition on, on most things. And I feel that medicine and science, is in it, it can break things down, but we're constantly learning new things. And I think we're only touching on the surface of the wisdom of our bodies. I, I was always also on my run thinking about illness and why people stay ill and, and I, I just wanted to say one really really Im important thing and, and that is we're born for the most part if we're fortunate which most of us are with health at some point this breaks down which means that something is wrong but our body has an inherent ability to heal when we remove the triggers that are creating illness I don't believe for most conditions, that they are permanent. If the body has been well, it can return to being well. So my question is, why does it remain unwell? Our bodies completely repair themselves through the nourishment that we give ourselves. Food is, is the ingredients for what makes the substance of our bodies. So 
how it does that is information from our DNA, which we're born with, and the environment will interact to create replication of protein molecules, which will then direct, command, and form the structure of, of our bodies. Now, I'm simplifying it greatly. <laughs> if there's any geneticists out there, <laughs> I apologize. But my point is, if we're continue, continuing to be ill, then there's something wrong in the message, our environment. Unless we have an inherited genetic condition, which usually we would be born with and express very early on in life, it's the, 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 the information that, and the translation and our environments that are creating the problem. So in theory then, if we remove what's creating illness, a sudden illness or an illness that's sneaking up on us, we should be able to, to heal. So a big thing is the power of a diagnosis. If we're told that we're ill, we believe it, and the body continues to, as it's commanded, recreate this illness. Um, our environment, there's triggers, bac bacteria, viruses, um, a lack of nourishment, um, toxins in our foods. Um, for example, and I'm not going to go through the whole, whole list, um, but these are interacting with the genetics, it's called epigenetics, to distort the information about how the body replicates again. So obviously it's going to replicate illness. So we need to be aware that when we're ill, we can return to health. It may require a bit of detective work and making changes and choices in your life, but I, I fully believe that we can restore health, but the biggest one is our minds. We have to believe that we can be well again, despite what we're told, and we have to continually work on that um, and, and command and instruct and work with our bodies while also making the changes to our lifestyles, our diets, um, and everything that is around us as much as we can. So use your intuition on this. Most of us, and I see this in my clients when they start to trust themselves, have um, a deep knowing within of, of what may be causing the problem. So you know, go for it, work with someone, help yourself on this. Um, I feel like I'm rambling on now. My main point really was about the power of our trust and that this is something that we must start to work on again, um, believing ourselves, the choices that we make for ourselves, the directions that feel right for us. Um, trusting other people requires us to trust. Um, the only way someone can hurt you is through our poor decisions. Um, we are fully capable of being strong in life, of making the right choices for ourselves in life, knowing our path. Um, it's time to look back in the mirror at yourself and be accountable to yourself. Remember how strong you are, um, that you're here for a reason and a purpose, and you're very much loved and supported by everything that is around you and trust. The more you trust in yourself, the less there will be insecurity about yourself and the decisions that you make. So practice trust this week. Explore everything around you and trust. Trust in your bodies and trust in that greater wisdom that's out there protecting you. So as I'm saying, I will also do. I love you all very much. Have a super day. Get out and move your bodies if you can. Bye.